Good afternoon and welcome everyone to the Virtual Heads Student Leadership Showcase Tour English Edition. My name is Delixa Castro, Executive Assistant of the Heads Consortium, and I will be your host today. We remind, we remind you that this event is being recorded to share it with students who were unable to connect today. The recording will be shared on the same page you registered. Also, you can watch the recording on the HEADS YouTube channel and our social media accounts. Please keep your microphones muted to avoid any interruptions. Today, we have more than 150 students registered. We welcome all the leaders and the university students who accepted our invitation to this virtual student leadership showcase tour. We also thank all deans and vice presidents of student affairs, counselors, directors, and staff of the institutions for their valuable collaboration to make this event possible. In particular, we greet students of our member institutions in Puerto Rico. Ana Jiménez University, Atenas College, Albizu University, Colegio Universitario de San Juan, EDP University, ICPR Junior College, the Inter-American University from its campuses Ponce, the Metropolitan, Fajardo, Bayamón, Guayama, Nuke University, Universidad Ana Jiménez in Carolina, Gurabo, Bayamón, and Coupey. Also, we have students from the Universidad Politécnica de Puerto Rico and the Aguadilla campus of the Universidad of Puerto Rico. We also welcome the representative from Zapatica Inc. here in Puerto Rico. From the United States, we have participants registered from Bronx Community College, College of Staten Island, Hostos Community College from the City University of New York, and the State University of New York at Albany. And we also have participants from Latin America. So we welcome the students from the Universidad Católica Luis Amigo in Medellín, Colombia. Welcome all. You are the protagonist of this event and we all uh, and all we have planned has been thinking about you. Thank you for your participation and your support. We want to know your opinions about this event, so we invite, invite you to post your comments in social media using the hashtags NETS Level and HEADS Events. Also, at the end of the event, you will receive an email by email the link to complete a brief survey to help us evaluate this event and to learn more about how HEADS can support your needs and interests. Before we start with today's topic, many of you follow the contest rules to enter the giveaway raffle we will have at the end of this event. Now, we will share the names of those who are already participating. Please take a look at the screen, and if you submitted a participation or on before Wednesday and you are not in this list, Please forward us the email you sent us before with the evidence to include, it, to include you in the list. But don't worry, if you are not able to send us a participation on time, you will have another opportunity to win today, since we decided to add an additional prize. And for this, I would like to present Stephanie Perez, Heads Marketing and Social Media Coordinator, to explain the rules to take advantage of this last chance to, move, to win a prize. Stephanie? Thank you, Yalixa. Uh, I'm sharing this now. Okay, so thank you for that, Yalixa. As she said, we have another opportunity to win an Amazon car, and you only have to follow two simple steps. The first one is that you have to post in your social media account, whether it is on Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, or Facebook, the one of your preference, that you're participated in the Student Leadership Showcase Tour. And the second step is to tag us as, as uh, heads org and use the hashtag heads event. You can take a screenshot now to in order to receive uh, to have the hashtag that is well written and the uh, social media username as well. So good luck to everybody. Thank you, Stephanie. Now we formally start our virtual to students leadership showcase. The main purpose of this event is to promote the wide variety of services available free of charge to support your academic goals and increase your chances of success to take your goals to the next level. Also, to share presentations of, of express, uh, expert resources in leadership as the speaker invited today. This is, another of, uh, this is another of many events for you 
as HEADS wants to continue offering with your support events like this for many, many more years. We want to welcome and recognize the support of the members of the Student Advisory Committee. The main role of this committee is to propose ideas to develop services and activities that can meet the needs of students like these events and the webinars. This committee uh, meets through phone calls two or three times per semester. If you are interested in joining this selected group, this selected group of students, please, please send a letter explaining why you will be the best candidate to become part in this committee and your resume to info at heads.org. You can do this before March 15, 2021. We invite you to take advantage of this opportunity. We also recognize and thank students of the Heads Ambassador Program, which started two years ago. In this case, the student ambassadors are designated by the Affairs Office to promote head services in their campus. If you are interested in becoming a Heads Ambassador, please contact us by email to infoheads.org or by phone to 787-616-3201 to provide more information about this process. To Jelly. conclude, the, Jelly, yes? excuse me, we have Dr. Carlos Morales with us. Oh, welcome, Dr. Morales. How are you? Good afternoon. Hi, welcome. I just wanted to, number one, <clears throat> say hello and welcome everybody to, to this forum and a First of all, you know that you learn much and that you share a lot of a lot of ideas in in this medium that we are leveraging. You know that the the, the pandemic has been extended, but at the same time we have been able to be uh, reducing the distance uh, among ourselves through this particular method. So as I always say, through the internet, everything is is closer. That's true. Thank you, Dr. Morales, and for the Bella, the knowledge of everyone, Dr. Carlos Morales is Puerto Rican, Boricua, but he is the pre he's located in Texas. He's the president of Tarrant County uh, County College, uh, the online campus, the Connect campus, and he is the current head board of directors chairman. So thank you, Carlos, for your welcome. I know you have a busy agenda, so thank you for step back, step out, step out of your. Uh, meetings uh, to say welcome to to our students. Any final words? Well, thank you, Jubelkis, for the opportunity. And like I said, I I wish you a, a very productive session. I know that the topic is very very interesting. Uh, you know, I I am between meetings, so I just wanted to to step aside a few minutes and welcome the group. And you know, best wishes. Thank you for your time, Dr. Morales. Thank you. And your support. Thank you so much, and we excuse you. Uh, we will be recording. We will sure. be sharing the recording. I, I will bye -bye. later. Appreciate Thank you. Okay, now to conclude the welcome remarks, we want to recognize the support and collaboration of all the companies and corporations that have made this event possible, especially to the headquarters of the head's office, the Inter-American University of Puerto Rico, Metropolitan Campus. Also, we thank to our corporate partners, Blackboard, Puerto Rico Top Level Domain, and Educational Testing Services. We are very grateful for your support and commitment to education. Now we are pleased to introduce Dr. Juvelkis Montalvo, HEADS Executive Director, who will share with you a brief presentation about, about HEADS Student Support Services Online. Go ahead, Juvelkis. You welcome. We can hear you. You are muted. Yeah, I know. Thank, Thank you. you. Too many things. I'm a meeting student because I'm the host of the Zoom chat and at the, of the Zoom link, and also I'm sharing content. So you know, too many things at the time. But mm -hmm. again. Thank you, welcome to all. Welcome, uh, thank you, Jalisa, for being our host today. And thank you, Ronald, our main speaker is already here. We're gonna take a few minutes, Ronald, uh, of your time to share the services that we have for students in our website. And let me show you right away. Uh, the website is, uh, bueno, maybe some of you are already uh, acquainted with the website since you came uh, to the website in order to register, but the website is head.org. 
And you may see, you will find information about heads, what's news, our services, uh, our who are our member institutions, virtual plaza, student and the student passport. And I'm going to show you right away if you want to continue uh, following us, uh, following us uh, and, to, and to take advantage of other different services, you can go right here to next events and you will see that we will have a combination of events for faculty and students. And the next one, well, that's today. And the next one will be Student Leadership Showcase Tour, the Spanish version for Puerto Rico and Latin America. Uh, next Friday, uh, uh, March uh, 5th, and this will be during the morning at 10 a.m. Uh, Puerto Rico time. Uh, that will be that 9 a.m. Uh, Eastern time. If you want to join us and you understand Spanish well, please feel free to join us. This is uh, the topic will be El Poder de las Palabras con a very well recognized speaker here. He's a professor at the University of Sacred Heart, but also a public speaker. And his name is Dr. Gabriel Paisi. Yeah, a lot of students from Puerto Rico know him because he's, um, uh, he has some participations in different TV shows here in Puerto Rico. So please don't miss the, this opportunity to learn there and you will see other different events that we already have. If you wanna see only the events that we have for students, you can uh, go to our services and click on webinars for students and there you will see all the different webinars and events and also you can register right there and also uh, you can see at the bottom the previous webinar recordings and by the way today we are recording and you will see during the afternoon the recording well or well, later this afternoon the recording of this uh, presentation in case you want to see it again or 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 share it with someone else uh, or just uh, 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 go, go back and see it again. And also you can see the other recordings as well. Let me show you very quickly uh, how you can benefit from our services. And here we have the link to the virtual plaza. And in the virtual plaza, we have the faculty and ministerial placita, and we have the student placita. So when we, uh, uh, in the student placita, let me show you very quickly how you can benefit from it. Uh, you can hear, uh, let me make sure, but hold on for a second because I want to share uh, the, okay, right here, the, uh, the audio of this tutorial in case you want to take full advantage of this My services. name is Yamari Santiago. I'm the current student the ambassador for the University of Puerto Rico. And here you will hear Gilmari, she's one of our student ambassadors in Puerto Rico, explaining how to access this. In Bayamon, and in this tutorial, we'll be exploring the resources we have available at the Student Placita. This journey begins this? in our main page, which is heads.org, which is what you're seeing and on then the screen right now. It's only four to minutes. access the Student Placita, and show you very you easily how to access all the services. I'm going to stop because I just want to make sure that you know where you can find this tutorial and let me get back to i'm gonna get back to this one so we i'm gonna show you now live how you can uh, take advantage of the services and very show you very easily how you go to the student placita again and here we have two different services. The tutorials, you have it in English, the one that I just showed you, and in Spanish. And here, uh, you will have different links. And this Peterson Test Prep, uh, uh, that was formerly known as the Sin Education Reference Center, now have been redesigned as well as the Peterson Career Prep that used to be the Career Transitions. These two databases are exclusive access a, uh, and you need a, a code to access this. Let me show you very quickly how you get access to it. You just click there. In this one, uh, you have also tutorials that we redesigned because uh, when they redesign these databases, they add on new services. So you have here how you can test prep a graduate 
uh, tests like the NCAT, the LSAT for law school, the GMAT, uh, also voc vocational interest tests, and also you can do scholarship search in English, uh, excuse me, in, for undergraduate and graduate, and you have these same tutorials in Spanish. So let me show you very quickly. For example, our head office is in, at the Inter-American, so I want to click on at the Inter-American, and since this is not the first time that I have been uh, well, I log in, I don't have to put the code, but if this is the first time that you click and access this database, you will be required to uh, put a code. And if you don't know the code of your institution, please uh, write on the chat that you need the code and put the name of the institution. So, Dr. Karen Rivera, our uh, services, student services consultant, and also Jelix and Stephanie, part of our staff, can help you with the code to give you the code in a private message. Okay, let me show you very quickly. First of all, the Peterson Search Prep here in the Peterson Search Prep is very easy to navigate. You can search either putting the name of the test right here or undergraduate scholarships, whatever you want to uh, see, or you can go for the main menu. The first main menu is improve your score, and here you have the different uh, tools. You have a uh, foundational skills, high school scholarship prep, and graduate schools, and international. For graduate, you may see that you have access to the GMAT, uh, the GRE, the LSAT, the NCAT, and the MAT. Let me show you very quickly how this looks like when you go. You only need the code. Remember, this is totally free of charge. You can access the LSAT ebook in order to register. If this is, again, the first time you log in, you need to create an account. So everything uh, you uh, use here, you can, uh, you can, uh, it, it can be safe, so you don't have to start from scratch, if, from scratch every time you go back. So let me see if my cre credentials work. Yes, it does. Okay, it doesn't work. Let me go back. Session timeout. Let me go back and log in again. Okay. And here, I'm going to go again. Um, Click on the LSAT, and then I'm going to select the, to show you how the ebook looks like. I already uh, downloaded, and you can uh, put it, uh, you know, download it to your computer so you can see the test, uh, Bella. Uh, you don't have to be connected to internet in order to uh, practice, uh, excuse me, uh, use this guy to practice and get prepared to take the practice for the LSAT. As you may see here, remember every time you do something, a new tab a, a, a open, so go back to the prior uh, tab, and then let me show you how the test look, looks like very easily. As you may see, it's very easy to navigate. Here you have different tabs. You have the course home, that is the test. You have the content that shows you how many sessions of the test you have to complete and how many different uh, versions of the text you have. You have the text number one has four, five different sections and you have two different versions. And um, text number two, you have five different. Let me show you very quickly. If, for example, I already did text one, uh, section one, section two, let me go to section three. And as you may see, if you have taken this test before, it's the same test. What they did, Cengage, uh, uh, that is the provider of this database, uh, allow, uh, uh, made a collaboration with ETS, that is the ones who did the test, to put different tests, uh, old tests here, so you ha can have the same experience of the real test. And the same experience means that you will have questions, to answer, you have to read first because this is the reading and then you have to select. I'm selecting randomly to show you when you finish selecting, uh, I'm gonna do a few, a few to show you how this database is so cool. You submit the quiz and it show you that you haven't answered questions, but since we are doing just a test, I'm gonna submit the quiz so I can show you how the database take you back. 
to the questions that you already answered and let you know how you did. And for example, I, I put in question number one the D and the correct one is the C and you can see the feedback, why that was incorrect. And again, all of them are there. If you have it correctly, again, it shows you that you, this is the correct and why. So you can learn from the practice very easily. Let me go back uh, right away to the uh, main page to show you that also you can find a school graduate schools uh, and and you can look for scholarship search for undergraduate and also for graduate that means that you can find scholarships for master's degree and doctor's degree and you have the access to the college planning center which is a center with a lot of different tools to help you uh, success and and get funds uh, to uh, finish your the uh, your degree and also you can have a menu with explore careers and you have also the vocational test prep right here with different uh, other tests, okay? Medical nursing, you have here the NCLEX, the DAT, different, also the ebooks to get prepared. You have all of this. I'm gonna, it's very easy to navigate. Let me close this and go back and show you very quickly the Car Peterson's career prep that you only need the same code. Uh, you can access both of them. And here is more oriented when you are almost finishing your degree or if you're entering college and you don't have a clue which career you wanna go to, you can uh, access that based on your interests and your values, which career is more aligned to, with you. And also when you are ready to either go to for apply for the internship or for the job, you can uh, create a resume. Uh, right here and here you have different templates. They already do a lot of different things. Uh, that means uh, the new things that they did. Please continue. Uh, let me make sure I put the correct. The correct is not working because probably it's not the same of the other database, but let me go back and show you because I just wanna show you how easily you can navigate. Here you can find a career and then it take you in order to, to see how you see a, what is there, you have to sign in. So just to show you the career, create a resume, find a career and advice, you have a lot of tutorials in order to get prepared. So I don't gonna, I just want to invite you to go and see this. And let me show you very quickly uh, in order to finish, let me go back here and, okay, I stopped. Let me finally show you where I have the flyers. Uh, it's here, at me, no, it's not here. Let me show you very quickly where I have the, mm, so sorry, I have too many. Too many windows, uh, let me finish here. Okay, how can I stop sharing this? Let me stop sharing this. That's the video. Hold on for a second because, okay. Uh -huh, here, that's what I'm gonna show you. You will be receiving, since we already have in our database, your email, you will be receiving can you can you see the that yeah, okay but let me no. let me go here okay now okay you will be receiving the flyers the flyers they give you a like level. a summary of what e you're gonna say how that how peterson suspect can take your goals the next level improving your score finding a school a pro career and, and also with the vocational test prep, and the steps remind you the step how to get in and if you don't have the code remember that you can act at your student affairs office or write an email at or you can put your your, sure your intuition name on the chat and we will right away uh, give you the case. Case. Excuse Excuse me. Me. we are still hearing filmaris on the back uh, i know because i yeah you on the uh, youtube tab one. maybe if you close it okay other yeah. than those databases the oh sorry there you go thank you uh, okay great thank you so much and here the peterson's 
career prep can take your goals to the next level and here you can create your resume, find a career job and receive advice from the career library that I show you live. And I, again, how you access this database. And if you don't have the code, again, uh, you can send us an email. Okay, let me stop sharing. And again, if you will be receiving the flyers in an email. And if you don't have the code, please uh, reply to us and, and ask for your email. And also, I want to invite you, in order to finish my briefly presentation, to share this with your peers, with your classmates, with your friends. It, it doesn't matter if they are not uh, enrolled in your institution, you can share with everyone that you may think that this is pertinent. The only thing that you cannot do is publish the code in a social media account where everybody can see it, but you can share it privately by email or text or whatever you want to do. Okay, so thank you again. And I put, uh, I'm going to be mute so Jelita can continue and we can start the presentation with our main speaker today. Go ahead. Thank you, UX, for sharing this relevant importation about our newly redesigned database, databases. And now we are pleased to present our main speaker of this virtual student leadership showcase tour, Mr. Ronald Bautista, who will be sharing the topic Presente Memoirs on Stepping Up and Moving Up. But first, let me share a summary of Ronald's professional background. Ron Bautista is the Vice President of Local Marketing at J.P. Morgan Chase. He has 10 years of experience in data-driven multicultural marketing with a passion for underserved communities. In his prior role at Emblem Health, one of the largest nonprofit health insurance companies, he worked across teams and agencies in the planning and execution of local media and digital campaigns. So welcome, Ronald. Uh, please proceed with your presentation. Ronald? Can you hear me? I can yeah. hear you well. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Thank Go you. Go ahead. Thank you so much uh, for the invitation. Uh, very pleased with the work that you, uh, your, your institution always does. Uh, Doctora, un saludo. You know, it has been a while. Um, yeah, so when I get started, uh, you know, when I, when, I was, when I started college, actually, a while ago, it was 2004, um, my, my dad actually uh, was diagnosed with ALS. And so, um, you know, we were an immigrant family. We, uh, we, we always lived here in, in Hoboken, in New Jersey. And uh, my dad, uh, he came and he stayed and he was an undocumented immigrant. We were an undocumented uh, immigrant family, which brought in many, um, many challenges that uh, I want to also share with you because those challenges can turn into actual uh, skill sets, benefits, uh, depending on how you approach things, right? Uh, and that's what I wanted to share with you today. Um, even though he was, he had a college degree from back in his country, many times we tend to uh, kind of go with the flow and what people tell us instead of actually finding out and figuring out and, and, uh, and asking the right questions on who has done the things that I want to do, right? Um, but basically when he got diagnosed, he was uh, cleaning homes for a living. Uh, that's how we were able to sustain the home and he worked with, together with my mother. Um, and when he was, when he became sick, he wasn't able to work anymore. So I had to step up, uh, into the family business. Uh, and so, and so, you know, when I started, I said, you know, what, what can I do in order for me to be able to pay my college tuition while going to school and getting a degree so I can move forward. Right. And, uh, you know, when you would, when, and the idea was I have to grow the number of people that, uh, wanted to do cleaning business. I also have to make sure that we're getting paid what we're worth, what our work is worth. Uh, and so I had to really, uh, my whole approach has always been you learn and you grow, right? And so you try different methods, different things to see how you can get to that goal. So my goal at that moment was, okay, how can I really pitch it to somebody that was telling me, hey, I can just hire somebody that I can pay $10 an hour uh, and they'll do the cleaning of my home. 
Uh, so I had to switch it up and say and figure out what our value proposition was as a service, right? And I promise this has to do a lot with what uh, my career path has taken me so far. Um, and, and, and so I had to really showcase my value, our value, and our value was trust. Our value was that uh, we had a, a specific number of, of homes, of people, of families that already trust our work. Uh, that would give us the keys to their home in order to do a good job. Uh, and so also then I had to pitch it in terms of value of monetary value of saying, how much money would you save instead of you doing the cleaning of your home for us to do the cleaning of your home? Uh, and what, can, what else can you do instead of doing this and allowing us to provide that service? Uh, and I want you to take that with you uh, because even though that wasn't my passion, this is something that set me up towards my passion. And my passion has always been community. And while I was going to school and while I was going to, when I was doing uh, work cleaning homes around uh, Hoboken, I uh, decided to look up uh, maybe some type of nonprofit, community service that I could work on. But I didn't want to just do community service in terms of, oh, you know, I'm, uh, I'm volunteering once, once, a, once a month or, or something that is not, developing my skills. I wanted to volunteer utilizing the skills that I was getting at school. And so since I couldn't really at that moment because of my documentation, uh, you know, work, right, and in, 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 in another career, at least that's what I thought, that many people that, are, that have figured out ways to, to do that, um, I found this uh, nonprofit in New York and then um, that was given scholarships to students, Ecuadorian students, because I'm, I, was, I was born and raised, born in Ecuador, raised half here, half there. Uh, and so that, that work there in terms of communication, leadership, uh, really prepared me, not just about doing networking within that community and among professionals and, and, uh, and different institutions, but also it made me, it helped me use, develop real life skills. And real life skills in terms of, I would come up with, a, I would have a challenge at the organization. And then I had to figure out based on, yes, what I learned in school, but also I had to do my own research to see how, how, how to do it. Um, and, and, and then I want you to think of uh, this uh, because it is, it is a way to not wait until you graduate school in order for you to start building out those skills and, and that experience. And it doesn't have to be an internship. It could be, it could be leadership roles because a lot of nonprofits and a lot of community organizations need those uh, leaders uh, that at that moment would be volunteers. Uh, and so something that I've always leveraged as, uh, as, as a skill set of mine is that I was able to motivate 30 people to do volunteer work uh, in order to provide scholarships for five students uh, once a year uh, and also develop different workshops and projects among the community. Now, there's nothing harder than asking people to do something for free and being able to convince them to do something for free, like, get, like making, doing the, providing the time to do something like this. So that is an added value to wherever you go. Um, and then also I wanted to, you know, explore different skill sets. Um, you know, I, I, I did go to a, 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 an agency, a marketing agency, and Although it was a startup, that also prepared me for my role right now. And, and something I always think about is how the role that I'm at right now, although it's very strategic, in order to talk strategy and work strategy, you must have some experience in the field. You must have tested some of the methods that you're putting forward as a strategist. And also sometimes as a strategist, you have to roll over your sleeves and get, get involved in the actual development of things. Uh, so, so taking that work and really, uh, you know, figuring things out many times from scratch, that builds up your uh, portfolio, and your portfolio is very important because, um, you know, and, and also not only your portfolio and your experience and who vouches for you, but also you have to think of this, who earns more in terms of medicine, a family doctor or a specialist? Family doctor is a general doctor. A specialist is somebody that you don't find that easily and that is taking even longer time to really go into a very specific uh, field of work. And that's the person who gets paid more. Uh, and so my, my, my thought was also, what, what is my uh, specialty? 
you know, and, and then you start testing it out in different uh, works and different projects that you do uh, until you figure out your own why. What, why do you want to do what you want to do? How do you want to, how are you going to differentiate from others that are doing also marketing, are doing also business, right? Uh, and so, so that's what I had to figure out. My, my difference was one community. The second one was uh, multicultural marketing, marketing towards the Latino community. And that's something you don't find that much. And also that it's not so much about language. So it's not, it's not a skill set that, oh, I can just translate it. It's a, it's a cultural uh, like, uh, skill set. It's something that you have to really understand it, but also you have to show results. Uh, as something that I, I found throughout that, those years in, the, in that career was I met this professor at NYU who uh, he wasn't teaching a full on course. He was teaching um, like a two weeks program, something express. And it always stuck with me because his story was fascinating to me. Uh, he was very passionate about digital marketing. And just be, and, and he didn't really have a degree. He was coming out, he, 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 and, but he, know, he knew that digital marketing had a future and he invested himself on that. And so in order for him to be able to develop himself, he wrote a book on digital marketing. He did the research, he did the practice, he, and he developed that book. And so then what happened, whenever he would go out networking and trying to figure and trying to make connections to, um, to, to get clients, he wouldn't just say, hi, my name is Gene, I don't have a degree, right? he, he, he would say, he would come in and he would say, hey, my name is Gene and here's my book, right? And so your, the, the fact that you, that he provided a book, it didn't matter which university he, he graduated from, it matters that he also, uh, he knew his stuff. He had something to back it up. Um, and, and that's just to show you that, you know, I went to a state school, a state university. I am getting still my master's at George Washington University, but uh, my, uh, you know, there's, there's different ways to get your foot on the door. And one of those ways is, yes, the college that you go to and those experiences, but then many times a lot of people also go to those schools. So you have to also figure out what other skills and what other um, um, presentation cards and really show uh, your portfolio and what people are bringing, in you, bringing you in for. Uh, so I would say stick to your specialty, um, you know, that uh, keep a record of your achievements. That's so important. Uh, and that's something that I, I, I wasn't really, you, don't, you might not hear it as much in, in, in college uh, that, and you should do the same thing whenever you get a job. It's always keep at that exact moment. Whenever something happens that you can show numbers, has to be results, uh, it, that you can show, display maybe uh, the, the final product. Um, that's what they ask sometimes in interviews for writing samples. Uh, something that really you are proud of that you can showcase so that people know because when they hire you, somebody hires you uh, because of what you can bring to the table. They, can, they hire you because, of, because you will be able to solve an issue that they have. They hire you because um, you are able to show those results. And, so, uh, and, you're, and, and then you're able to also leverage and, and negotiate your, your salary based on what you could save the company. See how it goes back to the cleaning service job? Uh, is because you're able to then say, hey, and I did this actually in one of my past uh, experiences in companies was, I know that the marketing agency uh, charges you X amount of money to do the same work that I'm doing, uh, that I would be doing for this role, right? And so I'm able to say, all right, so I'm able to ask this much based on salary records, right? So I'm not going too crazy about it, but I'm going to aim high. Because if you aim higher on the higher end, uh, you're able to negotiate, you have more wiggle room. And, uh, you know, some, so, something that uh, I, has always, uh, I'm, I'm always thoughtful and thankful for the people who, who showed me the way on this end, it's to know your worth. Don't negotiate down, you don't negotiate yourself down. Don't try to say, all right, I'm gonna charge the least amount of money because then, Two things, you're not gonna be happy with what you do. 
and therefore you're not going to be able to deliver the right the right job. Uh, so uh, in everything, test out, you know, learn. If it succeeds fully, perfect. If not, at least you aim high, right? And so my final message to you is, you know, and, and I love this saying is aim for the moon. The worst that could happen is that you'll be among the stars. So thank you so much for your time. Uh, I, I'll take any questions and, uh, and, and please uh, take the time to figure out what your purpose is, what's your why, and uh, how you differentiate, how you specialize so that you can um, be happy with the work that you do and that you'll be paid the amount of money that you are worth. Excellent, Ronald. I know that you don't have a presentation because you want this, I uh, like to be a conversation, sharing your expertise, Mela, and, and your lesson learned during your professional career, successful professional career, starting from the bottom, as you mentioned before. So please, uh, you can, since the group is not that large, although we have more than 100 people here, if you want to... Uh, Unmute your microphone in, a, right? in an order. Let me put the gallery to see uh, who wants to talk. Uh, or you can write your questions. Remember that Ronald is fully bilingual, you, so don't be, don't be shy. You can uh, ask your question in Spanish if you want, and then Ronald will translate the question uh, uh, for the ones that are not fully bilingual, and then we'll reply you. It could be in Spanish or English, uh, or, or both for the Vela, for the for the benefits of everyone and for the recording as well. As we get, you can please. Uh, this is the time to do questions. Uh, in the in the meantime, they get. Uh, let's try. Let me ask you, Rona. Now that everybody's on on online because of the pandemic and everything. How do you recommend them, uh, or which tools do you recommend them to evidence uh, besides linking that we know is like a, a you can publish or everything there? Which other apps or tools uh, online that everybody knows about your work? As you mentioned before, what do you recommend, or what do you use that was useful for you? Uh, well, for networking. For networking and for your yeah. show, we have to let the people know what you were doing, what you were dealing with in order to, to get recognized on whatever you Yeah, do. so, uh, so uh, one, one of the important things is to uh, is who vouches for you, right? So it's not the same just me speaking on my own, that for example, Hetz introducing me and bringing me along, right? So there's, there's that introduction period. So uh, yes, yeah, some platforms important, LinkedIn uh, is, very important in terms of, of that networking, but also uh, what's going on in your own communities, right? Uh, are there, there's always going to be in, in, within your community uh, some type of uh, like uh, organization that maybe does events, that does workshops where you can network as well. Uh, I know there's one that's called uh, in here in my area, it's called Tequeria, like Tech Tequeria, and they have a Slack channel Uh, on, 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 that you can access and you can network through there. Uh, you can attend their events. And so it's always a combination of you learn something, you provide something. You learn something, you teach something. Um, videos, do video content, interview people. So it's not just you talking on your own. It's you trying to find out more information from others. And that way you get, you get not just to be visible within your own contacts, but you can get also to get visible with the context of, Uh, of that person that you are uh, having a conversation online with. So those two, those tools are, are very important and, and it's always the strategy of how you approach it that, that, that can help you. I'm mute, so sorry, <laughs> I'm mute. <laughs> <laughs> Any other question? Uh, students, don't be shy, Ronald, uh, although he said he was a long time ago, but 2004 when you <laughs> in college was right there. <laughs> and you look very young although you're oh, no. a father oh, no. exactly you're a father a beautiful kid a, really, a beautiful girl that she's amazing by the way I, fa i follow him in social media and he his, his his most proud project right now is your girl definitely because you show up every time 
<laughs> yeah, every time I get, she, she's definitely the, the main focus of everything right now. Yeah, she's super, super beautiful. So any other questions, uh, especially the ones in the States, uh, you know that it's different from Puerto Rico because in the States, you know, being an immigrant is a barrier uh, and an obstacle that sometimes we don't have here in Puerto Rico because Puerto Rico is part, as you may know, it's part of the United States and uh, from the moment we, you know, we, we burn, uh, we have the passport and everything, so we don't have the situation, but that is a struggling, uh, uh, difficult in, in the state for a lot of Hispanics. And how do you see the future yeah. now, uh, since, you know, uh, this, after elections, and, and since you have been very active in politics as well, uh, how do you see the future in order to uh, uh, try to solve this, this barrier that is huge? Yeah, well, I, so yeah, immigration is, is definitely a huge barrier, uh, and and I'm, I'm not gonna get into the immigration no. aspect, but um, that and, and and I think the future there's always opportunities, right? And so it's yes. and, and and as as Latinos, we we tend to always figure out the way. Uh, mm -hmm. I was talking to my brother. My brother's still in Ecuador, and and, and the thing is like you have to shift many times uh, it's all right the situation is completely different what 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 is the the current environment and where are the opportunities in the current environment uh mm -hmm. you know and and so it's it, it depends because always base it not on not on your needs but on your potential client needs, right so like what are other people what are other people needing at the moment uh that you can provide uh, so, so that's 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 always the case, and always something to keep in mind whenever you're you're planning for for the now and for the and for the future growth. Uh, something that and and you know this this position that I'm at right now, actually, I I I, I wasn't looking for it. I was looking for something else, uh, mm -hmm. and I came across it because, and I was even doubting myself. I was like, should I maybe go a little bit more general, or should I still stick with uh, being more specialized? And mm -hmm. I started with being more specialized. Uh, and uh, when I saw it, I said, well, the number of years of experience match, the mm -hmm. skill set matches. So my, my call is don't be intimidated maybe many, many times by the title. Uh, your skills and your experience may be a good fit. And so mm -hmm. I, I, I tried. And what was funny was that uh, when I went to check on, on LinkedIn, Mm -hmm. the the job posting was was not active anymore so i mm -hmm. said it can't be because it was only posted a week ago so i i took the next step sometimes you could get discouraged no i took the next step i went on the website and it was still there so it, it didn't matter i still applied uh and mm -hmm. and by applying also put the network even off the um area of your expertise or your career uh I had met somebody through my activity in the community that I knew she was in HR, but I didn't know she was the recruiter of recruiters, right? Mm -hmm. And so I said, hey, do you know anybody at this company? And she's like, oh yeah, I know somebody. I'll, I'll, I'll ask that, you know, some, the right person is able to see the, the resume. And so, of course, that just gets you their foot on the door. Then the whole process is the interviews and, and making your case. But you know you have to try to do the best you can do in order to uh, make yourself visible uh, and make you a step up uh, for the work that you do, and mm -hmm. so that you talk to the right person that will make the decision and hire you. Excellent, that's great. And, and how do you like it so far? Because it was like like a two months ago, right? Something like that. Yeah, so I've been about a month and a half. I've been at a new position. Okay. I I love it. Uh, the company culture is is amazing, and um, and I'm uh, I, 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 it's it's my passion. So it's it's a good combination. That's cool. And is that it was diverse already, or you are adding more diversity to the, you know, as your title uh, mentioned? So or, or you are more okay, or you're more it's working okay. on strategies how to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it's it's it, it's a combination. So there, it, it is it is very diverse, um, mm -hmm. and and the focus of of the work brings more diversity to the table. Yes, 
Yeah, because it's a huge company. You know, GPA Morgan is very recognized and have glo is global, right? It's not only in the states. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, so and there's, it's, and there's... it's meant to be to be diverse because have from everyone. <laughs> It, and something it, and something that I and something that I found interesting was that the the people that are, that I've met they've been there 10, 15, 17 years in the company, uh, and to me that's very very new. Like I've always I, I I haven't seen another place where you see that level of that that many years of work at the same company. Usually people like to switch it up about like five years after and the opportunities are within to grow so it, it helps mm -hmm. excellent and taking notes because uh, everything that you mentioned you know is very important and you since you are located there you know you give us like a a, a very actual perspective of what is looking you know the job market right now what can you share regarding that the job market now that you were in that transition of you know from one company to other what do you recommend to those students that you know are almost ready to get out of college and we with the pandemic it's so difficult to go to interview you know everything have changed with the pandemic so what do you recommend to them in order to to get out to succeed in his, in their career a, a academic goals and, and career goals yeah no i i think that it's um it's important at, at the central part of it is networking mm -hmm. it's knowing people uh it's also you know checking back with other people that work in, in human resources because they might mm -hmm. have they might provide you with some tips in terms of how to approach your how to um, modify your um not just your linkedin and what you present on your linkedin uh, mm -hmm. but also how you present your uh your resume uh, and your and your skills within your resume, your experience within your resume. Uh, numbers is very important. Something I, I just started applying uh, numbers in terms of results that I started applying and incorporated into my resume that I didn't before. Uh, the summary at the top of the resume is something that really made a difference. Uh, and because and, and summarize it and use that summary to really make your case and stand out. Many people don't read the rest of the resume, uh, and mm -hmm. so. Uh, there's also, um, you know, LinkedIn has to has an algorithm. So when recruiters see it, what you're putting on your resume on your profile mm -hmm. has to match has to have some type of match with with yeah. the job. And so mm -hmm. find out what's the best way to uh, figure out what you want to get to, what what kind of positions you want to get to. And then try to adapt it a bit more towards your resume and, and, and where you're going to be. Excellent. And actually, when I was showing the Peterson Career Test Prep, uh, um, excuse me, Peterson Career Prep, because they, we have the test prep with the test and the scholarship search and then the career prep. And one of the new features that they add is, is, is specifically what you are mentioning. Now, you not only create the resume, but also you can upload it in your social media and you can track who is viewing your resume or you know align with that uh, and also when you do the job before you just put the seat go and it shows you how many opportunities of job opportunities you have around now uh the the what's it the uh, the the tool the new tool that they add or the new feature is that uh, you can track who is watching, and when you do the the job search, first you have to take an assessment on what, which are your interests, your values, which uh, preference you have, you you have, uh, if you like to uh, work by yourself or in a team or be part of a group, or you know all the different preference that you have, and based on that assessment that the database. Uh, provide you then align align your assessment with the job of positions and they give you all the opportunities but the database tell you which one are more aligned of the preference that you uh, put on below or reply on the assessment so it's super cool because as you mentioned everything aligns and then you can feel more uh, successful in your job and it will be you will be more happy because that's exactly what you were looking for 
Uh, so definitely now with the technology, everything is, you know, uh, bueno, if you take full advantage of it, because if you don't do the assessment, then you don't have a clue. But if you take full advantage of it, then you can definitely be more bella, uh, aligned and, and then uh, and, and be more successful when you go to the interview, because it's exactly what, what is like uh, done for you. So uh, anything else, Adam? I see a lot of uh, things going on in the chat, talking about uh, different things uh, regarding the certificates. If you really need the certificates, send us an email, but this is an special event, it's not a webinar. We usually do certificates for webinars because in the webinars we elaborate a topic and, and, and you, Ella, the webinar is more to show you about a topic. This was more, uh, sharing expert uh, resources like uh, Avela, like Rona, sharing their experience to be, as the name of the event uh, uh, is called, a student leadership showcase, how you can, Bella, uh, continue uh, developing these leadership skills. So that's why, but if you really need the certificate, send us an email, as I mentioned, in, in, in any special request, send us an email or put it in the chat. Uh, if you need the code and, and our staff will reply on you. Any other question, Jelisa, if you want, Karen, Stephanie? I just, I just mm -hmm. want to ask Ronald. Uh, he was talking about LinkedIn and, and specialized professional uh, social media. But what about students that are not uh, using those professional social medias and then use Facebook, Instagram, mm -hmm. probably Twitter. How do you can do this transition using this, uh, these other social medias uh, while they open their LinkedIn or another uh, professional profile on the internet? I think it's tough because every, every social media platform has a different focus. So, um, I mean, it, it makes sense to, you know, networking is not just a serious part of it too, right? So networking, it's also people who, you know, like uh, it's, it's putting friends. Uh, and so you could leverage it to talk about your work also on Instagram. I do that. I, if, if, if I'm speaking somewhere, if I am, uh, thanks for the tag, uh, head. <laughs> so, you know, if you're speaking somewhere, if you are doing some kind of work with the community, if you are, if there's something new with you and your career, post it on the other social media accounts too, because you never know who's, who's watching who that you may know that may have a job opportunity. And also, and also that it, the conversations will, will be easier too. If somebody's like, yeah, I remember you posted on Facebook and Instagram about this topic and this project that you did. That's very cool, right? And so there's, there's already that in the back of their minds that, of course, not, not, not many times they will approach you proactively, but when you approach them, they're already of the mindset of they know you because of the work you do, not just uh, because, you know, pictures that you put of, of like myself or my daughter, you know? <laughs> I, I made that combination because those social media platforms are a combination of both. It's your personal life and your professional life. So leveraging those two uh, can help. And regarding that, I say, I always, we always are very emphasized that everything that you post in social media, when you are looking for jobs, this is going to show up and come up. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's very important that you be very conscious what you put on social media, because once you put it there, although it's private or you send to anyone, you know, everything uh, is, a, if it's now you are an expert and you can tell more about it. If, if you already is online, everybody can, you know, find out. So it doesn't matter, it's private. So please be very conscious. And um, let me ask you, because I'm curious and probably you know that answer. The higher the level you want to get, you know, in a company, a position, uh, the more scrutiny, you know, I don't know, uh, investigation will be deeper and deeper. How, how do you recommend in order to, you know, uh, take a uh, nice positions what do you are is your if you understand uh, yeah i don't i don't know if it's a, if it depends on the company uh you know i've only been in a, a three three different companies so not that many uh, but yes it, it seems like there's more 
scrutiny in terms of like research uh, about you, but it's not, I mean, I would say unless there's some red flags, there's, there's not an issue, but I think the main uh, research is to make sure that what you're saying in your resume actually fits what you're actually experiencing. So uh, part of it is, you know, depending on the company you do, it's like you're trying to find out, uh, did you really work at the place that you said you work? Uh, is there, and also uh, who's going to be vouching for you at that company? So not burning bridges uh, where you're leaving. It's, it's very important. Uh, keeping those commitments and those promises is very important. Uh, and then uh, the other one is uh, level of scrutiny once you uh, are doing the interviews. I, I went through, I, did, I interviewed with six different people before I actually got an offer. So depending on the level, that's like a big difference. That's something I had not been through before. To interview through, through six different people across the board or different levels of higher ups uh, before they make a decision. So it's, that's why also I said, it's, it's not so much like, hey, so I know somebody that's a recruiter, so I'm in. It's not it, it's just getting your foot in the door and then making an impact in the, in the, in the interview. Uh, and also be consistent in the interviews that may come up also after that. Bueno. I, I see a comment from Shakira Colon that she agrees that you have to be careful eh, on the on the social media with your post. Although if you're not a public figure, it's not that you know uh, critical, but it is eh, when you're looking for jobs. And another question is: once you get the job, how do you preserve the job? how you should behave, how you could take advantage of social media and other conversations that you may get in, how, you know, what factors do you look very closely in order to even uh, not lose the, no, avoid to lose the job and also to continue growing in the company? What is your recommendation about that? My, recomm my recommendation is to, um, you know, I think you, the current, our currency is consistency, right? So be consistent with what, what you've, why, they, why people hired you, why people have entrusted you. Uh, and so being consistent in the things that matter to you, the expertise that you bring to the table, it's important. Uh, also, uh, read the policies. Like, first thing that happens when you come into a company is they flood you with trainings. So read the trainings carefully. I've seen people in past jobs getting fired because they didn't think and they didn't understand that a certain uh, thing would, it was actually in the policy. If you do this, you, you will get fired. Uh, and so it's important to read those things very carefully, especially when it comes to social media, because, um, you know, for example, it's, it's important to, uh, to try to avoid confrontations, try to avoid, try to, try to always be respectful, but also, if you're not the spokesperson of your company, don't speak about your company. Uh, so it, it, and just stay away from it, stay out of it. Um, uh, I had a, you know, it, that it, it's, and, and it's good to um, be vocal, but always have that measurement of like, how, how does that really, uh, how does that really impact? And in terms of keeping your, your job and what you do within, it's, um, you know, be a, be a fast learner, uh, but also keep open communications with the person you report to. Uh, you know, it's, it, it, you are starting from scratch, you're starting new. Meet as many people as you can. Uh, I think maybe now with Zoom, uh, with online, it's, it's a lot easier to just meet with people back to back and not really have any gaps in between because you're just going from, you know, you shift from one to the other. You're not physically walking to another office, mm -hmm. uh, so that has been a benefit during uh, uh, during the pandemic, during the pandemic, right now, through the situation that we have right now. Um, but uh, you know, I, I think I think doing that is important. Not being uh, asking as many questions as possible, too. And also, when they send you, when you have an assignment, um, give yourself space to have drafts of the assignment and, and then connect with the person you report to before the deadline, right? It's better for you to come up with a draft and you kind of went big and then the person goes like, mm, actually, tone it down, come here, uh, talk about this instead. And 
and you get to cut it down based on what you were thinking about initially, like over deliver and then adjust it as the guidance of, of the person you report to. That way you, uh, you give that person the opportunity to guide you on, because uh, you don't know what they're looking for. It's a different culture, it's different objectives, uh, so it's you're new in the company, and and don't be afraid to say, hey, I just started two weeks ago, so I'm learning as I go, and then other people will relate. It's like, oh yeah, I remember when I started too. Uh, so people will uh, will will make sure to to, uh, to guide you a bit on their end, but also stand your ground and see, am I supposed to be doing this task? Let me talk to my boss about it, because also your boss or the person you report to. Uh, it's in their interest for you to be really focused on things that they need you to deliver. So, you know, if something you're in doubt that whether or not you're supposed to do it, of course, be, be mindful. Don't present it as like, do I have to do this? It's more, mm -hmm. hey, so I was presenting on that. What do you think? And then mm -hmm. they, you can discuss it and then you can figure out whether or not it's in your scope because there's, the time is valuable across teams and, and, and they all understand that. Excellent, excellent uh, tips. When you get there, and excellent uh, your experience, uh, Ronald. Uh, anyone else? I don't see. You know, you have been crystal crystal clear. I don't see any other questions on the chat. So thank you so much. Please don't go because we have the raffle. Uh, stay because you have to be present in order to win. So any. A closing remarks, Ronald. I know your time is really busy right now that you have this huge position, so we don't want to abuse from your Bella, your collaboration. Uh, but any closing remarks will that will be the, the time to do it. Yeah, no, that just no, you know, I think that you have to specialize uh, what where you're gonna head to. Don't think that the decision that you make right now means that you're stuck on it for life. Uh, it's a it's an ongoing process. You're you're always going to be tweaking that uh, focus that you have. You're always going to be tweaking that uh, expertise you have. Uh, don't stay still. Uh, keep on moving. Learn, and through that learning process, you're going to continue to grow. So, good luck with everybody. Excellent. Thank you so much. Uh, this is the yeah. time to for any final comments from the chat. I don't see any movement. So, Jalixa, our NC, please. Continue when I have uh, someone, I have, actually, now she said, I just have a question in regards to be able to use the test prep. I think I may have missed, ah, okay, it's regarding, it's not with you, Ronald, so you're free to go. <laughs> uh, Jelixa, continue. Uh, actually, we will, to get sign in for, to use it, I will reply you privately, Ashley. Oh, 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 to everyone, so Jelixa can continue. Thank okay. you. Okay. Okay, thanks uh, to all for uh, the questions and the comments and Ronald for sharing your experience. Now we would like to move on to the final part mm -hmm. of the event and we ask Stephanie, uh, Stephanie Perez to help us with the giveaway raffle of the event. Stephanie, take it over. Yes. Okay, can you see the screen? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Briefly explaining the rules uh, of the giveaway that we made in our social media to participate, you needed to follow four steps. The first one was to register to the, to the Student Leadership Showcase. The second one was to like the post and Tucker mentioned us and Tucker mentioned five friends in the comments. The third, po the, the third step was to post share, share the post in your social media inviting your friends to register for the event. And the fourth was to send a screenshot, uh, a screenshot or send an evidence to an email and email it to us in order to have your all information, such as your full name, institution, phone number, and postal address. Uh, we received 13 persons that are here in the list and we are going to raffle five Amazon cards. So we have five chances. I'm going to spin it right now. Remember that we have five, five uh, Amazon gift card of $15 each. So this is the first one. 
that goes to Luis Ovidio, remember you have to be present in order to be, so Luis, are you here? Yes, he's here. Yes. So the first one, uh, Jelisa, please take note, Luis Ovidio, have the first one. Uh, perfect. So congratulations, Luis. Go ahead, let's go to the second one. Yeah, Camila, this is the social media giveaway that we, that you have to send the evidence by Wednesday, uh, last Wednesday. So you, the first, you the first uh, giveaway. The first giveaway because we have the second uh, 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 con, eh, giveaway for the ones who who who's post today. So go ahead, uh, Stephanie. Yeah, it is very important to to highlight that in the contest that we made today. If we need to be mentioned or tagged in the post that you made because if we are not tagged or mentioned, we do not receive your username. So if you haven't uh, mentioned us, please mention in order to add you to the list. Thank you. Okay, so now I'm going with the next one. Adriana, are you here? Adriana Laguna. Is Adriana here? Adriana Velas. Adriana, are you here? No. Adriana Velas from Ana G. Mendes. Mm, she's Is not. Here? No. No, pues, let's go, no. uh, take the name out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, Dorelli. Here. Eh, She's muy here. bien, congratulations, Dorelli. Thank you. You will be, by the way, you will be receiving the Amazon gift card by email. So make sure, well, we're going to use the email that you use to register for the event, okay? Okay, that's the second one. Let's go to the third one. And you will receive uh, the gift by Monday, since we have to have all the information, corrobor corroborate, and then send it to you. Adrián. Was it the same one, Adriana? No. Is that Adriana? Adriana Vélez. Ah, muy Is bien. Congratulations, Adriana. Is here Adriana Rama? Yeah, I'm Adriana Rama. Okay, Hola. Good. From which institution, Adriana? Ana G. Mende. Ah, eh, muy bien. Great. Okay, so we have Adriana Ramos from Ana G. Mendes. The other two didn't say, but we will find out in the registration. So we go, that's the third one. So we have two more to go. Go ahead. Okay. Is this Alexa Figueroa? Hi. Sí, congratulations, Hola. Alexa. You're the winner Thank you. of the fourth Amazon gift card of $15 each. So you will be receiving that by Monday, hey, by email. So let's go to the last one. Remove the name so we don't have doubles. And the last one goes to, uh-oh. Tainesca Salgado. Tainesca. Are you here, Tainesca? Are you Chinesca here? Tainesca is here. I don't see. Let me see in the in the participant. Bueno, okay. If you don't have the same name. No, we don't have Chinese here, but at least not with that name. So the last one, you have another opportunity to win the ones who are still present. Remember that was 
part of the rule. Okay, and the last one goes to, let's see, is Josmiri. Are you here? Josmiri. Uh oh. No? She's not here? I don't see. Maybe. Just me the other one. Déjame ver. Déjame poner aquí. Just. Espérate. Que lo escribí mal. No. No, I don't see just me the here. Also, oh, sorry. Remember that one of the rules is that you have to stay until the end. Yes. In order to win. So, the last one doesn't want to go. Uh, we have few names. Okay, let's see. He's the third one. Aleska, are you here? You can, if you, you don't have audio, you can put it in the chat that you're here. Aleska. No. Not here. No. Okay, if nobody wants it, you can send it to me. <laughs> <laughs> bueno, we have some more names. <laughs> Alicia is not here, so let's move on. Uh huh, move on. Let's see who wants the last one. The last one goes to, let's see, let's see, let's see. Joyce, Joyce are you here? Yes. 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 You are from where? From which institution? Um, from the University Ponce. Ah, que bien, from Muc. Okay, so we have from yes. Ana Jimenez and from Muc. Thank you, Yelixa, take notes. Uh, yes. we, that's the fifth one, right? We have. Yeah, six. let me go through the five winners. The first one is Luis O'Riera from Inter Ponce. Great. The second one is Jorelis Rivera from Ana, Universidad Ana Jiménez in Carolina. The third one is Adriana Ramos from, also from Ana Jiménez, Carolina. Mm -hmm. uh, the fourth one is Jalexa Figueroa from uh, Inter-American University. I don't know, uh, I, she did not specify the, the campus, but it's from Inter. Mm -hmm. And the last one is Joyce Muñiz from Nuc Ponce. Excellent. So again, we're gonna confirm all the other information by email in order to send you by Monday the Amazon gift cards to, to so you can download it and use it in anything you may want. Now we're gonna go to one last Amazon gift card of fifteen dollars as well for the ones who couldn't make the follow the steps to enter to the uh, raffle before, but were present today and they posted and followed the two steps that uh, Stephanie mentioned at the beginning of the event. Mira, my Camila say my username doesn't appear. Uh, username. What is your username, Camila? Camiandino. Oh, boy. Okay, we're going to add it. Someone else that we will definitely check in social media of course that you posted remember to follow us because if you don't On follow Instagram. us it's difficult to see you if you see your post so follow us and then post it okay exactly please follow us in order to confirm exactly okay. and let me tell you that for the next friday the ones who are gonna join us with gabriel paisi in the next uh special uh student leadership showcase uh, a Spanish version uh, tour, uh, you still have time to follow the steps that you receive on the confirmation uh, in order to have two different opportunities to win, not only in, in the ones who are present uh, like today, but the ones who, who send the evidence in advance. Remember that you have to post and you have to send the screen screen of your post by email to info at heads.org before Wednesday. Okay, if you have any doubts, let us know. So we are almost finishing. So we should, the last one winner, our last winner will be, let's see, spin the roof. Spin that wheel, spin that wheel. Mm -hmm. 
Vamos a ver si that person is here. Oh, Tomar, okay. Are you here? Are you here? Huh? It is. Shakira, is that you? Is that your username? <laughs> Shakira? Or are you uh, or are you kidding us again? Mira, yes. <laughs> ah, mira, sí, sí is. Bueno, ese color, yeah. Okay, pues mira, at the end you made it. <laughs> That's cool, congratulations. Thank you, thank you so much. Viste, queréis poder ahí, con fe, con fe, let me take a photo of that for the record. And thank you, thank you so much. You will be receiving that by Monday. Delicta, please, the closing remarks, and we hope to see you yes. everyone Con next Friday. Congratulations to all the winners on this. Thank you, uh, on, um, yeah, thank you, Stephanie, and you will kiss. Congratulations to all the winners of this giveaway raffle. We hope you enjoy this uh, Amazon gift cards. On behalf of HEADS, we thank you for your assistance and active participation during the event. Remember to stay connected with HEADS through our social networks and our website, heads.org. Uh, finally, we would like to invite you to the next events and webinars that we will have this semester. The first one, as Yuvoki just mentioned, is the Student Leadership Showcase Tour, the Spanish edition, that will be next Friday, March 5th, with Dr. Gabriel Paisi. And that will be uh, starting at 10 a.m. Puerto Rico time, and if you are in, and if you are on the east coast of the United States, that will be. Um, it should be 9:30 a.m. 9 9 a.m. Yeah. 9 9 a.m. And I know that if you are in, in Colombia, I think in Colombia is the same time. Eastern also, time. okay. Same. Oh, thank you. So make sure you have the correct time. Go yes. Ahead. So Puerto Puerto Rico time. 10 a.m. Yeah. See you. See you there. So, and then after that, we will have on April 16 another webinar in Spanish for students with Dr. Marieli Rios. The um, uh, we invite you to register to participate in our website heads.org. Uh, just scroll down to the next event section that Welke showed you earlier uh, this afternoon, and we hope to see you on these events too. Have a wonderful weekend. And until next time, thank you. Thank you all, guys, and hope to see you later. And remember that the recording of this excellent presentation of Ronald Bautista will be shortly in the previous, uh, at the bottom of the webinars for students webpage that I show you in the HEADS website uh, later during the afternoon. Take care. Thank you, everyone. And have a nice weekend and stay safe. Remember, use your mask and stay safe. Take care. Bye-bye.